yes. I, yes. Chemistry is not a simply a subject. It is interlinked with many fields in our uh, life. So that is, that, that is in our daily life. So for that, just I have ge given some, some of the interlinks. Chemistry is linked with environmental sciences, biochemistry, molecular biology, nuclear chemistry, chemical engineering, what all. This everybody knows. So let not, uh, uh, the, I mean, uh, my, waste much time on this. Let us go to the chemistry in everyday life. In chemistry, in everyday life, we feel, I mean, we come across many of these, uh, uh, I mean, many of many, not many, sir, each and every step of the human life is related with chemistry. Sir, we eat chemical, we drink chemical. I, uh, uh, our body itself is made up of large number of chemicals. Sir, not learning chemistry, learning chemistry is not just to score marks in chemistry, gentlemen. I feel that chemistry is, is itself is the life. Chemistry itself is the life. So because we have uh, the different components of chemistry I have shown there on the slide, that it is the vitamins, cleaners, hormones, fire, paints, etc. So these are all uh, <coughs> the different parts of the life. Sir, so the next, let us let me take just a few examples, very few examples. Let us consider acetic acid. People we know, students we, who studied acetic acid as uh, <coughs> the uh, common name for the uh, common name for the ethanoic acid, where it means this name was taken from the uh, Latin word that is acetum, which means vinegar. Everybody knows in the, in the in everybody's kitchen we can find a bottle. And mother knows very well rather than us that is called vinegar, which is nothing but a 10% solution of acetic acid that we come across in the second year syllabus, that is in the 12th class syllabus, in the acetic acid uses, we come across this gentleman. So that means you are learning the second year chemistry uses of acetic acid means not simply that you are learning it for the examination, it is simply the chemical or the substance that we have been using uh, mean regularly in our kitchen. Right, sir. So the next, I have taken another example. It's a beautiful uh, <coughs> example that is, that is nothing but the carbon dioxide. That is, uh, we know everybody, we are interested in, uh, naturally many of us are fond of the soda. So whenever we get some, uh, a sort of, uh, I mean, <coughs> digestive problem, we, we, if we have taken, uh, I mean, much, much stuff, uh, then naturally we'll try to have soda. Now that is nothing but we'll be saying, we'll be asking the, the, the soda person, the soda boy, hey, give me a lemon soda. Hey, give me some salt soda, something like that. Now that soda is nothing but the aqua solution of the carbon dioxide. You know pretty well that carbon dioxide and aqua solution of that carbon dioxide is nothing but the soda water. And gentlemen, there many, while preparing the lemon soda, we come across the first reaction that we come across in the qualitative analysis. Sir, in the qualitative analysis, everybody knows, all the second layer, 12th class students knows, the first test is for the carbon the carbonate anion. Now in the carbonate, while doing the carbonate anion test, I will give you the test. Now that if dilute hydrochloric acid is added to the car, I mean, uh, carbonate or bicarbonate salt, we get brisk effervescence. That brisk effervescence, that uh, brisk effervescence is observed and that gas liberated can put off the burning splinter when that gas is passed through the lime water, it, it becomes milky, what all. The gas liberated there is nothing but the carbon dioxide, right? That carbon dioxide absorbed in water, that carbon dioxide absorbed in water is nothing but the soda water. When the soda boy <coughs> takes that, uh, I mean, sodium, that is bicarbonate in the, uh, that, is, uh, uh, that is called uh, uh, sodium bicarbonate in the glass, we, uh, min mixed with uh, flavored water, and if we take a piece of lemon and just squeeze it, we can find that brisk effervescence in the bottle. See, in that in that glass, soda glass, the same reaction that the soda boy has been doing there, we'll do it in the qualitative analysis in the first reaction, that is the first test for the anions. So when everybody knows, everybody observes this during the, I mean, uh, in, uh, every, in each and every step of our life, but, when we come across the, when, when we came to know, when we, we asked to study the qualitative analysis, people say, sir, it is very boring and it is very large, sir, how to remember. 
See, this reaction you, you just observed from your childhood, but you don't know that it is a chemical reaction wherein an acid reacts with carbonate or bicarbonate liberating carbon dioxide. I want to, you to feel to that much ease with respect to that chemistry is concerned, not that it is a, a separate a subject, right? So then, sir, the next coming to, right, I have taken one more example that is called the sulfuric acid. That is nothing, we know pretty well that king of chemicals. So this is the question that we, I will be frequently asking the students who came for, uh, who will come for the admissions. If a 10th class student, if uh, what is, if I ask him the king of chemicals, if that person is, if that boy is not able to answer this question means, now that means he don't know anything about chemistry in 10th class. That is what I feel. Not only I feel, everybody feels like that. Because one of the author in one of the book writes that the economic status, the economic uh, wealth, the strength of a country can be estimated, can be measured with the help of the amount of sulfuric acid consumed in that financial year in that country. That is how the sulfuric acid is uh, in, involved in the various fields, various fields in the society. Now, such a sulfuric acid called the king of chemicals, having the formula H2SO4, we all know pretty well that it is, uh, uh, I mean, it is one of the dangerous acid also, and it is very, very dangerous. We'll be finding that some, uh, some, uh, some person just sprayed that acid, just uh, uh, now uh, the, uh, the person who suffered will be, uh, will be getting that blisters and will be simply burnt off. That is the role of the sulfuric acid. Now, this is not a different one that we'll observe daily. Sir, one more thing, sir, milk of magnesium. If in the uh, in our uh, in our home, our mother knows very well about milk of magnesia rather than us, sir. Why? Because sir, I just quoted here that this is this question was asked in IP board exam many times. Yes, in one year, that is I didn't I didn't exactly remember the year. Some of the even top students also did not able to get by that year sixty out of sixty. Some students missed that last mark. Why? Because Unexpectedly that year, he asked in the two marks question, what is milk of magnesia? Right, sir. Now that milk of magnesia is, is, not a sub, is not the chemical that is present in our books. It is not the reaction or it is not the chemical substance that we are going to study in our books. But in, in, the, in the childhood, we people also, we people also have uh, uh, taken this medicine and mother, our, our mother, have taken, have given this medicine for us whenever we get the stomach ache or whenever we get that hyper acidity. Yes, this is not, sir, this milk of magnesia, that is nothing but a suspension of magnesium hydroxide in water is used as an antacid to correct the hyper acidity in the stomach. Even in our house, almost all the, oh my, almost all the medical kit in our houses will be containing compulsory this medicine in the different ways like dysine or gelicil or uh, uh, etc. It all nothing but a, sus a suspension of magnesium hydroxide and aluminum hydroxide. Right, sir? So then, <clears throat> sir, this baking soda, so commonly in Telugu it is so called idli soda. In all the, uh, the kitchen will be compulsory having this baking soda. Now that is nothing but the sodium bicarbonate. And at last, but not least, is nothing but the pharmaceuticals. Now that is, you know, <clears throat> each and every medicine, each and every medicine is nothing but a chemical substance. So, so in which I have taken just one or two examples, that is paracetamol. So this was very familiar in the recent, uh, in the recent days, in the recent days when <clears throat> in these pa pandemic situations, all, almost all, uh, almost all the people might have used this paracetamol under the name of Dolo 650, that name was very familiar. Actually, in this pandemic situation, that one chemical, that Dolo 650 itself, just with that help of that single medicine, that, uh, that medical company would have minted the money, not earned the money. That is the usage of this paracetamol. Sir, we, we study in the 12th class. In, while studying about the amines, we will study this preparation. In the chemical, in the chemistry everyday life, we will study its preparation. There is nothing but acetyl derivative of paraminophenol is nothing but the paracetamol and this paracetamol is used as uh, uh, that is antipyretic that is to reduce the high fevers and also used as uh, i mean uh, anti 
uh, what do you call, uh, that is to reduce the pains, that is it, it, to, redu to reduce the pains also, so, I mean simple pains. And another one just I have taken, that is nothing but aspirin. Remember, this aspirin is every everybody, everybody that is, uh, it is used as a blood thinner, normally heart patients, any, any person having slight heart complaint will be uh, certainly having this, uh, I mean, tablet in the form of echo sprint. Echo sprint, the chief ingredient present in the echo sprint is nothing but the aspirin. Its preparation will study, gentlemen, will study in chemistry everyday life. In recent, in recent times also, in your uh, uh, internal examinations that might have been conducted, you might have come across at this aspirin, IUPAC name of aspirin, or the preparation of aspirin, like that you students would have been come across. Sir, don't think that my objective is not to discuss about uh, the uh, these uh, only chemicals and uh, that are in normal life. So because my just I want to make the student to feel uh, that ease in learning chemistry by thinking that yes, myself is a chemical. Our body itself is composed of large number of chemicals. Now, whatever the reactions that we come across in our body are nothing but the chemical reactions. Continuously, non-stop chemical reactions will be occurring in our body. Non-stop chemical reactions will be occurring in our body. Now, that is nothing but, sir, we'll be taking, we'll be having, uh, sir, that is uh, digestion of food is nothing but an oxidation. Sir, in burning of the fuel in the kitchen is nothing but oxidation. And then in the summer, during summer, normally people will be, hey, don't go outside. It is very hot summer. You will get uh, dehydrated. Sir, the dehydration is nothing but loss of water. During the dehydration, what the first aid that will be given, uh, that will be given by any elder in the home or uh, any uh, the first aid given doctor, that is uh, immediately have the tender coconut because the tender coconut, the tender coconut will be a rich source of the electrolytes by a rich source of the natural source of the potassium. When our body gets dehydrated, either during the uh, sunstroke or during your, uh, uh, what do you call uh, the diarrhea, also the dehydration takes place, de dehydration occurs by the time. So normally we used to take the tender coconut, which is a rich source of potassium. You feel that student, while just uh, not only learning the chemistry to score marks in for the examination, each and every moment you feel that chemistry, you find that chemistry, you observe that chemical reactions so that you will not be painful while learning the chemistry. You will not become, you will not be feel painful in learning the chemistry. You will not be, you will not become bored while learning the chemistry. That is my appeal. That is my appeal to the students. Don't think that chemistry is only a subject for scoring the marks. Chemistry is the subject or chemistry is the subject which is to be filled by each and every individual and you should make your neighbors or your surrounding circumstances also to feel that chemistry is, I mean, is not only a subject. Okay, sir. So this is what, uh, this is what I want to introduce to the students. This is what I, I want to make the students with these few examples. I'm very clear <coughs> that uh, uh, the student can feel that chemistry. And one more simple example I can give at home, sir. So, <coughs> sir, uh, in the, uh, uh, that is, uh, while making breakfast, ma mother will give us uh, the paper roast dosa or what we call uh, the masala dosa, something like that. That making dosa is nothing but our dehydration reaction. Making idli is nothing but our dehydration reaction. While making idli, dehydration is through by passing the steam. Well, making, I mean, <coughs> masala dosa is just by dehydrating, uh, de dehydration of the starch by directly taking it, by directly, uh, I mean, uh, uh, pouring on the hot pan. And one more thing, all the students might have been observed. All of us might have been observed. So while making the rice batter, after making the rice batter, we can feel in the morning that the volume of the rice batter will be, uh, will be increased. That is because of the fermentation. Yes. Bigger starch molecules broken into smaller starch molecules by means of the enzymatic action is nothing but the fermentation. So why, where is chemistry? Chemistry is in our home itself. Where is chemistry? It is not only in books. It is in our daily life. Chemistry is indulged with, uh, I mean, uh, each and every moment of the life. That is what I feel that chemistry should be learned not only for getting the marks. Okay, sir. Next, let us switch over to the next, next portion. 
so before going to the next portion that is uh, the next uh, next slide uh, i want to just uh, remind you one thing <clears throat> remind you one thing one thing sir many people many students and parents who will be coming for the admissions so for any college whatever whatever the college so he will be saying that uh, sir is the mct is different or is the syllabus for iit is different sir when you up to how many months you will teach ip intermediate board uh, i mean board classes and how many uh, how many um, months after you will start teaching iit and when you will give mct coaching sir when you will start ip when we start uh, integrated uh, classes so all the students and parents will be questioning that sir when we will start ipe so when we thought start board examination gentlemen i am going to prove you i am going to prove that our integrated system of teaching itself is involved or is started with board preparation only okay sir